Good morning friends. Today we'll be learning how to cut out the neckline for any kind of dress, a circular neckline. So we're working with some basic material that you can find in your home. We have our newspaper over here. It's about some of the photo paper. Our scissors, a protector serving as a serving as a French curve, a short ruler, serving as a ruler. Then you have your pen and then you have your tape root. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut out a circular neckline. So first thing you must know in cutting a circular neckline because a circle is normally like this and it has this round line that goes around has a particular measurement which is normally in perimeter or you call it the circumference and the formula for following the circumference of a circle is normally pi d or is it 2 pi r where pi is equal to 3.14 3.14 so we want to cut out neckline 16 because my neckline is 16 so we want to cut out neckline 16 neckline neckline 16 so we say pi d equals to 16 which is the neckline pi equals to 3.14 then you put your d equals to 16. After solving, so I've done this before, you will get 5.09. So you can punch because you divide both sides by 3.14. 3.14. So 16 divided by 3.14 will give you 5.09. Then this is the half, that is half of a circle. So this is the perimeter around the circle. But you know, this circle now we'll be putting it into two, into four places, into four places, into four places. So we have to divide this. This circle by two to give you two point five. So it's as our, as our when you fold this into two, your pattern pi into two. So for into two, this particular area is where we use our neckline area. It's our neckline area. This particular area. Because after cutting out, you get a neckline. You open it up. So that's why I put it into two. And so that's why also it goes into two. That, that explains why I said into two because once you join the two and two, it gives you four. Because into two again, put into two again. So I've done that. So now we have to start cutting out the neckline. So this is 2.5, we got 2.5, which is serve as, as the diameter that is from it's actually for the diameter is actually a line from a point, from the middle point to another point. So this from this middle point down to any other point from middle this middle to here to this point. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Middle this middle to this point or this middle to this point. So as the word diameter. So we start the computation or start the rolling now. So we have draw our guideline. Draw our guideline. Let's start with our guideline. I can never call your name and end up in shame. Our guideline. Yeah, this is our guideline. I hope you can see that. I've just drawn out the guide line. Okay, then we we'll also get our adjustment line. That is our allowance line. Allowance line. So I think we measure. I like my adjustment to also be half an inch. But for those that actually need to have enough adjustment, let's make, let's make it one inch. One inch. One inch. Yeah. One inch. We we'll make it one inch from the from our guideline, it's mark one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, yeah. So this is our one inch line. So our one inch line. One inch line. So, from our one inch line, we have to mark out 2.5. 2.5. This is here from here, this is 2.5. 2.5. Also, from the other area, too, we have to mark out 2.5. This is 2. Point Five. Then we square the line up. We square the line up. We join, we combine from above down to the two point five point two point five point. We connect the two point five lines together like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I wish I had a sticker pen, like a marker pen, so we can see the lines. But also watch. Connect the two lines together like that. 
so like so. So then we have to now cut out. But knowing that, remember that this is our from here to here is our adjustment line. I'm going to that here for you. So now for us to draw this line, we have to draw our circular pattern from this particular line we have actually drawn out. Also, I also advise for more small um, convenience and making it a, a very nice circle, I think you have to mark 2.5 from the middle again down to this axilla area. I see how I did it. 2.5 again. So, you can see our three points. We got this point, this point, and also this point. So, use our protector to combine those points to get that. Okay? It places very well so everything can touch but if you don't touch you have to adjust and adjust you get to the particular points you want to get to so we combine we have combined these two points together that's that for that and we combine these other two points also to get that so you have to see the trace very well so you have your circular Pattern the way you want it. Then we cut out. Then we cut out. Okay, in cutting, you just follow the line. Make sure you cut on the line carefully. Cutting on the line. On the line. On the line. Just take it up. We are done with that. Remember, this is our adjustment line. Our us. So, also, so that's it for that. I made it with this slide mistake. So, when you open up, grab this. Don't be, don't, don't be scared about this particular area because this is where your adjustment is. So, you have to put it in and put it also, put it like also in. And when you come over to this other one, you just have to do something else. So, we got 2.5 here. I also have to mark out 2.5 particular area too. So, we mark out 2.5. Remember the same, just shot, just take this particular one and put it on this one. Then you cut out also. I'll put it to up then. Open up. Open up. This will be actually be like this. Like this. So we got our neck line. So we should measure it round now because now that we have our adjustment, our one inch adjustment, which I have actually place it on each other. Okay, let me put it in. One inch. Remember, this is our border line. This is our, our line. Our initial line. We actually our. Uh, Guidelines. Somebody basking in actually pull it out. Then we'll measure one inch again. Do the adjustment line. This is the line, one inch. Now the shoulder line. One inch. This up to one inch. One inch. Yeah, let's do that side also. One inch. One inch. One inch. So you come over there. This is one inch. And you draw like that. Let's see. So we have to measure and see if our this is correct. So we got our six days. So thanks for watching. That's more than enough for cancer. That's more than enough for...